guys welcome back to the channel so first of all just log in with your credentials and activate the cloud shell and in the description box i will share one link open that link in normal window and we have to use those commands so just click on this continue and uh, open that link which i share in the description box and you will get this commands now what you have to do just copy this project id and just make the changes over here like this and make sure there is no extra space over here now copy all this command at a time copy all these commands okay now and run here just wait for a second click on authorize now it will take couple of seconds so please be patient meanwhile just search for the load balancer open this thing in new tab okay now just wait for this command to get executed properly after that we will continue with the load balancing task So it's finally done. Now if you just go back to your lab instructions and check the score for the task number one and task number two, you will get a score without any issue. Now just come on the task number three and if you just click on this check my progress of task number two, you will get a green tick over here. Okay. Now for the task number three, what we have to do, we have to create load balancer. So just copy this name. Do not copy that full stop. Now please pay attention. Okay. Now click on this create load balancer from here choose the HTTPS click on that now from here we have to choose the from internet to my VMs and here in the global or region just choose the global and classic okay click on continue now the, we have copied this name so just paste the name over here like this make sure there is no extra space now we are just going to configure the front end so here in the first day make sure it's ipv4 fma rail and port number 80 click on done now again click on this uh, add front end ip now here just make the changes over here like ipv6 like this and click on done so we have done with the front end configuration now we have to make the back end configuration so click on this back end configuration now click on this now click on this create a back end service okay now here for the name if you just scroll down copy this name okay copy this name paste the name over here like this now here please pay attention guys okay from here just choose the us east one mig okay now for the port number it must be 80 and hit space and make sure the port number must be 80 sometimes the port number change automatically so please make sure of that thing now here if your instance group is us east one then you have to choose the red as a balancing mode and for the maximum rps choose 50 okay make sure it must be look like this now click on done again click on add backend again from here now we have to choose the europe west one now for the port number it must be 80 like this and this time we have to choose the utilization okay please make sure you have to do these changes now click on done if you don't make this kind of changes you will face the issue okay now for the health check just simply click on that click on create health check now for the name if we just scroll down so we have done with all this task now we are going to create health check so just simply copy this name 
paste the name over here and do not make any other changes simply click on save now if you just scroll down here you can see enable login click on this checkbox and you will get sample rate one okay make sure you have make all these changes correctly now if click on create now click on ok and if you want just click on this review and finalize and make sure your load balance must be look like this if it's so then click on create now it is going to take couple of minutes what we can do now just search for the vm instance open this thing new tab and if you follow my this commands so for you see uh, this uh, vm already created so now what you have to do just simply click on this ssh option okay now if you just go back to your live instruction page and scroll down till the task number four here you can see we have to just run this command so if you just copy this command and run the command on your ssh so just hit enter and you are done with the task number four also now go back to your dashboard and here just scroll down and last task no need to do uh, this thing okay no need to do all this thing now for the task number five just copy this command run over here just wait for a couple of seconds so it's done now copy this command run over here wait for a couple of seconds and it will be also done and done. now for the last command copy this command run now it will ask for the location so every time we have to choose the global location so just simply type one and hit enter and it will take a couple of seconds and it will be also done so it's done now now if you just go back to your load balancing and here you can see your load balancer also created now just simply click on check my progress for every task you will get a score without any issue If you just scroll down okay so we have got a score for task number five task number four now if i just click the check my progress of task number three i will get a score without any issue and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section guys thanks for watching and have a good day